What is going on everybody? Welcome back today with possibly the hardest rebuilding challenge I have done up to date this year. And you're about to see what it is. So first, but like you're, you might be saying, Matt, this is just like a nuts rebuild. What are you doing? Like, do you have a different roster, different settings, different like that? No. You're about to see why this is one of the hardest rebuild challenges I'm going to have to do this year to win it all. And especially, you might be saying, Matt, why the hell are you doing a hard rebuild challenge when you just failed miserably at the expansion realistic rebuild challenge and the ultimate trading challenge you also failed that yeah i don't know what i'm doing to myself i'm just trying to make myself even pissed off at 2k even more so you see the nets right look at this i have decided to put the best teams in the league in one conference besides the nets so yeah that's basically what this is so this challenge was recommended by ultra tapas 69 in my Siri rebuild and he said I have a challenge for you dude put the 15 best teams in the league in the Western Conference and the 15 worst in the East and rebuild the worst team on the West in a super stacked West you can also do that with expansion and transfer so that's basically what I'm doing I decided to throw the Nets into a conference with all the best teams in the league in here yes you could have taken out the Pacers and maybe thrown in the Nuggets or the Wizards but I really the only one that you can really contend here is the Nuggets or Heat uh, that you can really throw here, maybe 2k the Grizzlies, but we're starting at the beginning of the year We're doing a Nets rebuild and this is the conference we're playing in Yep, that's what we're about to do today If you guys enjoy these rebuilds, let's see if we get a thousand likes and let me know in the comments another rebuild challenge We can do and the one I use I will shout you out in the video uh, That we do the rebuild and if I like your challenge enough and if you see a challenge you like just leave it a like on the um, Or just leave it a like in the comments so I'm going to try to do one thing here before, because I know we're going to be bad. What will it take for me to get my first round pick back from the Cavs? Because I really want this pick back. Okay, can I do it without trading D'Angelo Russell? Uh, I'm willing to give up Rondé Hot. Okay, uh, first, you give me Kyle Korver. Second, I will give you... Who can I throw in here? Dinwiddie? Can we trade Dinwiddie for my pick? And, and I will throw in... Can I throw in all my seconds? Um, and the Raptors first. Okay, two seconds. Did Woody and the Raptors first for my pick back? Okay, and I'll throw in one more second. How about one final second? Damn it! All right, I will throw in. I'll throw in Jeremy Lin actually, and you can give me J.R. Smith. And can I keep that first? So Jeremy Lin did Woody for my pick this year. I will throw you, um, a second. Damn it. All right. I'll throw you a first in 2021. So 2021 first, Lynn and Dinwiddie for my first this year. Are you kidding me? I'm really about to overpay so much for my pick this year just because it's the top five pick. But trust me, we're going to need it. You're kidding me, right? Okay, so I guess it's going to be insanely hard to get my pick. So if I had to guess a team that could be the worst seed in this conference, I would say is the Pacers or the Pelicans. So I'm going to try to get the Pacers first round pick for cheap. And the Pelicans first on pick for cheap. So Pacers, what would they want for their first on pick this year? Uh, my first on pick of 2020, Damari Carroll on a first. Ryan Howard, Jefferson, Dinwiddie, or Levert. All right, we're going to do Dinwiddie for Corey Joseph in their first this year. I'm hoping, that if they make the playoffs, I'm going to be very impressed. And hopefully we can maybe snag this Pelicans pick for cheap, in which they don't have. Who has the Pelicans pick? Oh, it's the Bulls, right? I'm pretty sure it's the Bulls. There they are. Uh, okay, yeah. So let's try to grab this. It's top five protected. Uh, do I have to give up a first? Do I trade Jefferson? The thing with Jefferson is I did plan on trading him, but I might trade him in the offseason because he's a free agent next year, and he does ask for like 18 mil. So we're going to trade Damari Carroll and the Raptors first. So I think the Raptors first will do um, or will be lower than that pick. So uh, the Pelicans pick will be better. And yeah, so that'll be for me now. We're going to be very bad. Here's the team, and I'll see you guys at the end of the year. And yeah, we're going to be very bad, hopefully. And we won't even have our pick. So Jeremy Owen with six men of the year. Is he a free agent? Please tell me he's not. Okay, good. We could definitely trade him for maybe a draft pick or something like that. Maybe to move up in the draft. Donovan Mitchell wins rookie of the year over Ben Simmons. I don't usually see that when I start in the middle of your season, so that's interesting. So we went 23-59. It's going to be very interesting to see. Like, basically, everybody here on NBA first team besides Drummond in the same conference. NBA second team, everybody besides Wall, same conference. NBA third team, everybody besides Chris Ops, same conference. So you can just see how good this is. We, we were the 15th seed. I do not see the Pacers or the Pelicans in the playoffs, so that makes me happy. Um, and you can see like the Nuggets are one seed. The Lakers made the playoffs. Yes. Yeah, so that, that's a thing. Um, 
Okay, so this is the playoffs. The Jazz made it, which actually surprises me. The Bucks were really good. Pelicans, they were good. Pacers were pretty bad. So that makes up, I guess, for getting our pick. I really probably shouldn't have gave up Carol in a future first for the Pelicans first. Because the Raptors were actually worse. Damn it. Damn it. That's an L. Kings are bad. Knicks are bad. You can see, like, the 18 at 35 wins. The 18 at 45 wins. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Like, the one seed here would have been the the five seed here it, it's pretty bad uh here were the stats holy crap we were terrible uh, and yeah so we'll see who makes it to the finals out of we'll call it the eastern conference which is basically the right side and the six years made it past the blazers it's a warriors thunder and a laker nuggets and it's a nuggets thunder nuggets are probably the best team that are in that conference that i had to throw in there they would have been in our conference but we had to put obviously put the nuts in there and the Thunder beat the Warriors in five and win it all. Okay. All right, so Jeff Lottery time. Where are we projected? Obviously, our pick is going to be number two. And we have the number third projected pick. I don't think there's any protection on it. And we should get the 12th pick. So we get five and 12 in this draft. Okay. Not not too shabby at all. We are going to fire Kenny Atkinson. We have to get a top-tier coach like Dan Tony to even contend on this. Shockley Vaughn's not bad. And let's fire Robert Bean and get uh, our boy Jimmy Lynch. So we get both dope and we can go to the draft now. Okay. So what what it was? We had five and twelve. I mean, Bagley or Aiden or Doncic is like a big, big thing here. Um let's obviously let's move let's try to move Crab and Mozgov for free agency purposes. Um we can get Tyler Kavan, uh, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I probably butchered it. Because we just saved like 15 mil doing that trade. I think maybe even 17 mil. And then let's trade the the one, the only, Timothy Mozgov for Tony Bradley. Thank you very much, Utah. Now, also, let's trade Jeremy Lin and the 12th pick. Damn it, I probably should have sent like Jared Allen or Levert in the G League. Oh, that was dumb by me. Okay, can we move up? Not really good offers. I mean, like they're okay. Jeremy Lin and 12. Can we move up to like 7? Honestly, like, low-key, not five. Uh, like, three or four could be, like, somewhat realistic here. Not, like, realistic, but, like, could pop in. And I'll give you my second-round pick. Okay, three. What about four? Kings? Ah, we have pick four and five in the draft. I will see you guys at Rookie Soundings with who I drafted. All right, guys, so I'm pretty happy with our two picks. We did end up with Bagley and Porter Jr. Two studs, and they'll be probably both instant starters on the team, so... Levert comes back. Joseph, I'm probably going to trade. Kevin Durant. See, like, I doubt I'm going to get him. Cousins would be such a big signing for us. Uh, let's definitely try to move Corey Joseph. Because it's not even like like the contract's going to be... Ooh, oh, no, it's trading his glitch. It's not even like his contract's holding us back. It's just he's not really good, and I could find somebody for equal value making the minimum in free agency. And, yeah, so let's trade him for Chinanu Onu... Unaku, I butchered his name. I'm sorry. I'll, that's probably the last time I might say his name in the video. Sauce Castillo and Noah Vonley, former. Where did Castillo go to college? Michigan? Yeah, and Vonley went to Indiana. Yeah, we're going to let them walk to pretty much bust, we could say now. More toy and phase. Demarcus Cousins would be big. I wish I traded Mozgov or Crab to the Pelicans. Um, even though I didn't get Demarcus Cousins in yesterday's rebuild, I, we, need to, we need to sign people that are good. So, like Paul George, I know I get him all the time. I know, but. I, I'm sorry, I have to get him. I have to get him. And let's offer Capella a one-year deal so he's a free agent next year. Yeah. All right, so we end up getting... Oh, my God. We just got both of them. That is going to help us out a lot. Okay. Uh, so we just signed DeMarcus Cousins and Paul George. I did not think we were going to get Cousins. Okay, we get Cousins and Paul George. So all we need is a shooting guard, and this team is complete. Pretty simple as that. I mean, could I trade Porter Jr. for Doncic? I mean, on draft night, I definitely could have, but probably not now. We could try it, though. Um, Bruce Brown, Buddy Heald, Dennis Smith Jr. Who's, like, the best? I mean, Donovan Mitchell would be cool. Uh, Donovan Mitchell for Michael Porter Jr. Um, and I will throw you my pick next year that has four stars. They should do this trade. Actually, could we just do our pick next year for Mitchell? And I'll give you a vert. And I'll give you a vert. And I'll throw you two future seconds. And I'll throw you... Do I have another center? And I'll throw you Tony Bradley. 
All right, and I'll give you a future first, and that's all I'm giving you up. That's the, the most I'll give you. We just got Donovan Mitchell. Okay, this team is sick. So we have Russell Mitchell. I'm going to have to sign a guard here in free agency. We have uh, George, RHJ, and Porter. I'm actually probably going to trade RHJ for a backup guard. Bagley and Cousins. This team is very good. So let's trade Howard Jefferson for a backup guard because Howard Jefferson is a free agent next year. And we also have Porter and we do have George. So we don't really need him. Jaron Gray, can I get an 80 overall guard? Like, that's what I would want. Kuzma, Jonathan Simmons, can I get somebody better, like an 80? Damn, they're not really feeling an 80 here. Okay, what about the real point guard? Uh, what 80 overall can I maybe snag? Jamal Murray for Ronnie Hollis Jefferson. Let's make it happen. Definitely not happening. Uh, Chris Dunn for Ronnie Hollis Jefferson. I would have to throw in my 2021 first. And they'll give me Bobby Portis. Thank you very much. All right, on top potential, we're going to be sending Bagley. Obviously, they're A-plus potential. Uh, should we send Cousins? We'll send Mitchell. Uh, yeah, we'll send Mitchell and Russell. Because then that's pretty much our three lowest overalls in the starting lineup alone. So, obviously, I got to bring them the best team possible out here. Because we're going up against very good talent. I don't think, actually, this would be an interesting trade if I could pull it off. I, I just thought of it now. I don't think it would work, but... Could we trade Bagley for Kristaps? I'm just kidding. Okay. I traded enough picks, I think, at this moment. So we have a Russell Mitchell, George Bagley, Cousins, Portis, Dunn, Jared Allen, Michael Porter Jr. lineup. That is flames. That is very good. Um, I think I like this rotation. Uh, there we go. 33, 32, 33, 34, and then 30. Uh, let's go 33. We'll give one more to Bagley and one more to Cousin. Sure. Okay, so that's going to be for me now. Let's see how we do with the fourth team in the preseason power rankings according to NBA.com. We are not even in the top 10 in 2K Sports. We are very far down, 21, and we are four in Mark Spears. In this conference, let's see what happens. I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. All right, let's go, guys. We are 53 and 14 at the moment, and we are looking like we're going to be the two seed here in the Eastern Western Conference, I guess you consider it. We can call it the Power Conference. We'll call it that. Actually, you know, and of course, when I hopped in, we lose three in our last six and make that seven in our last... I meant four in our last seven. And, okay, make that five in our last nine. Wonderful, wonderful. Of course, just when I start talking. But, okay, are we going to get the three seed or it's the two seed? This will matter for a game seven home court. Come on, please. Get ahead of the Warriors. I think we got it. Uh, yeah, we got it. Okay, cool. So we end up as the two seed, which is a lot. But so we just went from worst to second here in the Western or in the Power Conference. Westbrook was MVP. Trey Young, Rookie of the Year on the Knicks. What pick was he? He was third. And uh, Jeremy Lin, Sixth Man of the Year in Sacramento. Drummond, Defensive Player of the Year. Jordan Bell, Most Improved. Is he still in Golden State? He is. And John Smith, Coach of the Year of the Rockets. So will we see anybody in our? On our team here in the NBA teams. That is Smith Jr. NBA second team. Okay. And we do see D'Angelo Russell. No Paul George. No uh, Mitchell. No Cousins. But we do get D'Angelo Russell. Which I will definitely take in the uh, the awards. So we get nobody on the all defensive team. Bagley all rookie first team. And Porter does not make an all rookie second team. So... Let's advance here to the playoffs now. We are the 2 seed taking on the Thunder with the reigning MVP, but they do not have Paul George, obviously, because he's on our team. So Spurs didn't make the playoffs. Did they make it last year? I don't... They might have made the 8 seed last year. Uh, the Celtics didn't make the playoffs. Portland, no. Raptors, okay, suck in this conference. I should have got their pick. And here, the Heat were the worst team. I thought the Heat would be one of the better teams in that conference. The Nuggets with 47 wins win the division. They would be the... Oh, my God. They wouldn't even make the playoffs. In our, oh, my God. That's crazy. They wouldn't even make the playoffs. Or they'd be tied for the last seed. Uh, George led our team in points. Then Russell. Then Mitchell. Then Cousins. Then Bagley. Then Portis. Then Porter. Then Dunn. Then Allen. Uh, rebounds per game was led by Cousins and Bagley. And then Portis. And assist was Russell. Russell. And then Mitchell. So we're taking on the Thunder in round one. And that, see, like, no playoff series is going to be easy. That's the thing that sucks. 2-0. Well, maybe this one will be easy as we sweep them. Taking on the Warriors or the Cavs? We, okay, see, like, that's crazy. A Warriors-Cavs matchup in round one. Game one, we beat the Warriors by 15. Chris Dunn, 22 off the bench. Game two, we lost by one. Damn, that hurts. Game three, we win by nine. George drops 24, Cousins 23. Why did Cousins only play 21 minutes? That's weird. Uh, did he foul out? Yeah, he fouled out. Oh, Mitchell with five fouls and George. We got lucky. 
Damn it, they tied up 2-2. Two to two. They win this one by 19. Game 5, this is the biggest game of the series. So far, uh, we're going to go down 3-2. to two. We get blown out by 31. KD drops 39. Come on, Georgia. I need you to guard KD. Game 6, oh, looks like we're going to need another year to recuperate. Oh, damn. Okay, we lost in 6 of the Warriors. And the Warriors are facing the Rockets. And it's a... Magic Nuggets Finals, and the Rockets beat the Magic in five. All right, so Jeff Finery, I wish I traded for that Raptors pick uh, previously. And uh, the Raptors don't even have their pick. Actually, it was only pick 10. Nothing special there. Staff signing, we're good with everybody. We'll side. Uh, we need a new assistant coach. We'll get Larry Drew. He's got really good ratings. And he's not going to sign with us, so never mind. Can we get uh, John Smith? We can overpay for a coach. Let's do it. Uh, we do get John Smith, okay. The most generic name ever. So, NBA draft time. We, honestly, the only, like, trade I would think about is upgrading power forward. Okay! Do I trade Marvin Bagley for Jabari Parker? I say why not. Why not? Oh, a depot, okay. Capella. Draymond. All right, let's get Jabari Parker. Let's get Jabari Parker. I don't get Jabari Parker a lot. So we pick up Jabari Parker for a year run uh, for the third and final season. Uh, probably final season. And he's more of a win now guy, more of a polished guy, more experienced, more developed. Portis and Russell are big free agents. And I'm going to bring them back and I'll see you guys at trading camps. All right, so we did actually lose uh, Bobby Portis in free agency. I did sign Thad Young. So Thad Young will be the last man in the rotation. So we're going to send Porter... Uh, junior, we're also going to send Jabari Parker, and we'll send Russell for fun here to the untapped potential, and hey, everybody develop more, I think we definitely upgraded power forward for at least this year, I wouldn't say for the future, but definitely for this year, so Deron Hillard, you're not playing, uh, Thad Young's going to get 10 minutes, Allen's going to get 15, Porter Jr., 22, 26 to Dunn, 32 to Parker, 34 to George, 34 to Mitchell, and 34 to Russell. Without further ado, I will see you guys at the end of the year. We're the number four. Stop. Why are you not putting us into the top 10 2K sports? You have us at 22 and you have us at 4. This is basically Skip Bayless, I'm convinced. All right, guys. So 67 and 15. Definitely an amazing season. You know, Jimmy Lynn just wins six men of the year for like three. Was, didn't he win it on Art? Wait, no way. That's so impressive. He won it on three straight teams in three straight years. On Brooklyn, Sacramento, and Dallas. That's impressive. As... We do not get coach of the year, but we had the same record as the Rockets. Do we finally get somebody in an OMB? I think actually Russell made it last year. And no nuts. And no nuts. And no nuts. And no nuts. No nuts whatsoever. But we actually qualified for the one seed. Technically, we got it. We were taking on the Raptors. Finally making the playoffs in the Power Conference. Good for you. And the LeBron James didn't make the playoffs. Never thought I'd say that. Uh, Sixers, Thunder didn't make it, Blazers, Spurs didn't make it, Pacers, and Jazz. Okay, yeah, ever since we took, uh, we took Levert from them, they've been bad. And we traded them our first round pick and ended up being, like, the 28th pick. We robbed them the Bulls, where one seed, the Bulls would have been the 7th seed in the Power Conference. So, here are our stats, if you want to see them. Cousins, eh, he's doing alright, he's doing alright. Okay, so, team stats... We were the highest offensive team in the fifth best defensive team, the best offensive team, the fifth best defensive team, and the best point differential. Please, can we win it all? I'm going to assume with the current round against the Raptors. Easy win. Can we take on the Pelicans? No, we're taking on Kyrie and Hayward. Actually, did Kyrie resign? He did. In real life, he'd be like, I'm not staying in this power conference. I'm going to the uh, the Eastern Conference, we're just going to say. And we're up 3-0. And it's 3-1. And it's 4-1. Let's go. And we're taking on the Bucks. So it's not even the Rockets or the Warriors. The Warriors have not done crap in this power conference. 1-1. 2-1 them. 2-2. 3-2 us. Come on. Yes, we're in the finals. Taking on the Bulls. Like, come on. They don't even have Portis. They don't have Dunn. They just have Markkinen, Hollis, Jefferson, Middleton. Middleton, not Middleton. And they don't even have Zach Levine anymore. Oh, we should sweep them. Yeah, we're going to sweep them. 2-0. 3-0. And we're going to hop in here. We're going to win it on the road. And I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident. Yeah, we're, we're not losing this. All right, I will see you guys in the game. We're about to sweep them and win the finals and complete the challenge. You don't know how good this feels after failing the past two challenges in the past two days of rebuilds. All right, so we're in the game. Russell's in, has three points. Uh, Chris Dunn is in on his former team. Porter's in. Yeah, I want to get the starters in. George has 14. Cousins has 20s. Cousins are leading score. Maybe Mitchell has a lot. Uh, can we foul him? 
Damn it, I wanna I wanna I wanna see Mitchell and I, I just really wanna play with Mitchell. I love playing with Mitchell in uh 2K this year. He's very fun to use. Paul George wet. Paul George is also very fun to use. I I know I get him a lot. Uh I'm just gonna foul real quick. So we can I wanna see I wanna see I wanna have Mitchell in. Uh and Jabari Parker too, who I don't use a lot, so that's gonna be fun. Yeah. <laughs> They're playing Jerry and Grant and Denzel Valentine big minutes. So you you know this was pretty much an easy dub. Uh Mitchell has 18. Actually, can we run an off-ball screen for Mitchell? Let's try it. Let's try it. Does he run floppy? He does. Okay, let's go. Come on. Uh, please run this play properly. And he's open. There we go. Quick shot. There we go. Green light. Bang. Donovan Mitchell. I will take it. Up by 16. He's just so dope. He's just so dope. Uh, I don't know if he would look better with a shooting sleeve. I don't think he would. Because I... Uh, I'm not sure. Headband would be interesting too. Chris or uh, Jared Grant, former Notre Dame Fighting Irish the rack, former Nick. All right, Mitchell, let's see what you can do. Off the backboard to yourself. Okay, never mind. Oh, that was impressive, Paul George. That you just looked like Bobon dunking that ball. And we're up by 16 now. On this ball team with a minute to go. Uh Middleton with the ball. Mitchell was A plus perimeter D. Oh my god. Um there we go. We get a miss. Kick it to Mitchell. And, okay, cut him up. Oh, Mitchell to the rack. Weird foul call. All right, guys. So, we did pick up the win. Obviously, I, I don't think I'm personally capable of blowing that much of a lead with a minute left. So, let's see finals MVP. If I had to take a guess, I'm going to say it's... If I had to put my life on it, I'm going to say it's Donovan Mitchell. No, I'm dumb. I, I, I should have said Cousins. He's our highest overall player. That was dumb by me. But, yeah, that is going to be it for... Uh, the hardest rebuild challenge. I don't know what I'm actually going to title this. I don't know if I'm going to call it like the hardest rebuild challenge. Maybe I'll put a question mark because there's probably ones that are harder. I'm just going to say it now because I really don't have a name for the title. But shout out to Ultra for the uh, idea. It was a fun challenge and like a power conference. Maybe I'll call it like the power conference challenge. I don't know. You'll see. Obviously, when you're seeing this video, you'll know what the title is and I'll come up with the title by then. So yeah, that's going to be for me. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Drop a comment if you do want your challenge featured and want to be shout out in the videos. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.